Coming up on Cultural Capital, we step onto the stage at the Barbican with Simon Callow. Thing of the Week is a very old piece of rock and I'll be reviewing Charlotte Colbert's debut feature film, She Will. First though, earlier this week we went down to the Barbican where the theatre's smash hit production of a very silly, very enjoyable musical, Anything Goes, has just reopened. We talked to one of its new, much-loved stars. It's um, a, a, a laughter machine. It's a, it's a, it's a joy factory. It's uh, some, a play, a show, it's a musical, of course, which gives limitless pleasure. I mean, this show dates from 1933, and it's definitely a show of its period, but somehow uh, the wit is absolutely as sharp, funny, uh, naughty, outrageous as it was then, and the melodies are part of everybody's treasury of music. I mean. That people are astonished, they come to see the show and they say, oh my God, I didn't know that was from this show. And it is. It was a staggering success in its day. There are so many reasons to be um, a bit depressed at the moment. And uh, I think people are, are really, it, it's muscles that haven't been used for a while, you know, big, big, big laughs. And, and, and it's, it's hard to stop them leaping to their feet at the end of the first act and then again at the end of the second act because it's, contagious, you know, when people are dancing and singing wonderfully like that and the material's so great and the, the production is just a wonderful, you can see a tiny bit of it from here, it's just a fantastic set, wonderful costumes. Fifteen, fifteen of the best musicians in Britain, fabulous uh, swing band basically and, and, and every one of those uh, players is a star in their own right. Fan Fantastic. And the moment we hear the overture, the moment the audience hears the overture, before the curtain's even gone up, you're in sort of paradise because they're playing like gods down there. Since the world was basically still in flames in February 2021, you may not have noticed that a fireball fell to earth in the Cotswold village of Winchcombe. Fortunately, somebody did, and it became the first meteorite fall to have been recovered in the UK for 30 years. It's our thing of the week. This is Winchcombe and it's just such a special meteorite. It fell on the 28th of February 2021 and it was observed to fall. It's probably the best observed meteorite um, that we know of. It was seen by over 2,000 eyewitness accounts, but importantly, it was also captured by 16 cameras in our UK meteor networks. So this means that we can calculate its trajectory, find out where it's going to fall and actually search the area, but also back calculate its orbit so we know whereabouts in space it came from. So Winchcombe is actually the first meteorite to fall in the UK in 30 years, and it's the only carbonaceous chondrite. These are a really special and rare type of meteorite. So they're given that name because Winchcombe itself has up to 2% of carbon. This is present in organic molecules like amino acids, but also importantly, it contains a lot of water, and that's present in the minerals called clays. So um, the early Earth wouldn't have had these kind of materials. So it's thought that meteorites like Winchcombe hit the early earth and gave us the building blocks for life. Time for the 60 second film review. I was slightly dreading this because I'm a massive scaredy cat, but I actually rather liked this weird gothic feminist revenge comedy by first timer Charlotte Colbert. Veronica is an aging movie star in the Olivia de Havilland mold who travels with her young nurse Desi to recover from a mastectomy at what she thinks will be a solitary retreat in the Highlands, but she's not alone. Quite apart from the woo woo idiots staying at the big house, there's the small matter of the memories of women burned there as witches, which seem to have seeped into the vengeful land. Veronica has deeply embedded trauma of her own which the landscape begins to draw out like pus from a boil. It's intriguing rather than scary and even when the apparently sentient mud of the forest starts infiltrating her and Desi's cottage, Veronica seems less frightened than fascinated. The film is a bit choppy, constantly switching between realities, some of the dialogue is clunky, some visuals highly schlocky, but it's all held together by an exquisite performance from Alice Krieger as Veronica and her tentatively evolving relationship with Kota Eberhardt's Desi. By the end of it, you're cheering for them and the high and sludge. Thanks for watching. For more great stuff going on in the capital, follow me and Evening Standard on TikTok and ES Culture on Instagram. See you next week. Yeah.